sick. I'm like zooming, bro. All right. All right. Oh, okay. So it is a Samuel Sun Hunter versus a Matthew Breeze match that we were about to start. It's death versus, I believe it's either a balance or nice. We'll find out momentarily. But I mean, again, it's it seems like death. It's always very, very hard for them to, you know, compete at this level because, you know, it's it's they have so much little health. You know, they 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 have a lot of disadvantages. Plus, he's also second, which is very unfortunate. But we'll see. I don't know. I think Samuel's a warlord. He definitely knows what he's doing. Definitely has fought a ton of ices in his day, no doubt. So let's see, bro. Let's see. I think if, if I were to make my prediction, I feel like it's going to be an extremely close match where whoever's going first will have, especially because of the schools involved. I think Matthew has the upper hand, but you know, you never know. It's too early to call. Samuel might have a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Uh, a lot of really, really good death strategies uh, that you can use at this level involve shifts, myth banshee, uh, you know, just any a lot of myth spells. So we'll see. Maybe he's going to use shifts. Maybe he'll use off school hits. That's really, really important. But you know, shatter and feeble are banned, so that's a really important part of many death strategies. So we'll see. Maybe he'll find a creative way around it. I'm excited for this. So it looks like Matthew is an ice. I don't. Yeah, he has to be an ice. He has an elemental blade up. And, and, and yeah, yeah, I feel, I feel like Matthew is about to just blade stack just like Samuel, and we'll see who actually has the upper hand right here. They're taking some time, you know. I mean, hey, that's fine. Twenty-five seconds is a lot, but ice dispel just—it's coming out. That's a smart move. It's just preventing him from shielding. Samuel is—I think that's his third blade. I actually think that's those are three different blades already. So that's actually really cool. I think what's going to happen here is it's going to come down to who has the best defenses. And I don't think Matthew, like the one good thing about death, I don't think Matthew is actually going to be like super set for death because who, who actually has that, you know? Like ice, fire, balance, maybe life, you know, those a lot of people set for. But I don't, I'm not sure about death. So we'll see. Maybe he has a special death resist pet. I do have a death resist pet, but I have it for Malastare the Undying. That's why I had it. But, I don't know, we'll see. The bubble, always a good move. Death doesn't have too much of a viable bubble. Obviously, he has that four pip bubble, and he definitely has a pips to work with, which is great. We'll see how Samuel uses drains as well. I mean, again, one of the, one of the biggest reasons Ice is so good in the arena is because of their shadow spells. So, and <laughs> without that, it's gonna be really, really hard for uh, Matthew to do a lot of hits, you know? The reason Ice is such a menace right now is because of shadow spells. So he went for the doom and gloom. That's very interesting. I personally would have gone for the four pip, but I think the doom and gloom is just to prevent. You know, it's just a, it's just so he doesn't have the damage. I don't think it's really meant to prevent Matthew from healing. I don't think Matthew really will heal. Uh, it doesn't seem to have anything like that. So we'll see guys. I think Samuel actually has a very good upper hand now. So, you know. Like, here's the thing, right? The, the really, really good thing about the Christmas... I'm really, I'm really liking that, you know? Especially, like, we'll see how Ice uh, operates, you know? Even from first, it might be very, very difficult. So they both put up stun blocks, very, very smart. Especially for Samuel, because you really, really don't want to be hit by a Winter Moon combo. That you just, you know, you just don't want to get hit by that. Uh, it looks like Samuel definitely has the upper hand right now. He has bump control, not that it affects him that much, but he also has three blades versus Matthew's one blade. We'll see, and he also has more pips. Um, yeah, I, it depends on where the hits go from here. But, you know, Samuel has to be careful. He can absolutely... The, if he's working with overtimes, there are many, many ways to play overtimes. You have to be right. extremely, extremely careful. I am back from the dead. Looks good. So it looks like Samuel went for the Skeletal Dragon. No? Because... And you know, said this is Doom and Gloom, right? This is a Doom and Gloom, yeah, it's not a damage bubble, or a 4 pip. Although, okay. a, a 4 pip, in retrospect, would have been an amazing... I want to assume that Mar Matthew forgot about Bone Dragon. He only had enough, like, debuffs for, like, one hit. And he's not prepared for the others, unless he carries, like, a cooldown or something like that. Which, I don't see why he would. And I mean, here's the thing. He can't heal from this either. Matthew could have just baited him to do that, you know? Like, not this baited, huh? Yes, I, I like, <laughs> I think he could have just 
there are ways to manipulate overtime. So you can now there. All right, not bad damage. Exactly. Oh, exactly. It's just a waste of eight pips right there. So he probably did those two shields just as a way for him to do that. And I think Samuel, what he tried to do was prevent him from. If he found yeah, if the he was first, time. this would have worked. Easy. But yeah, he would have removed he, this yeah. overtime instead of the other one. It would have been great. But that being said, this is solid damage. You know, like he can't. Like, he got that first 1k, he's definitely winning by a long shot right now. And let's not forget, he's not gonna get struck by any kind of shadow hit right now. So those blades aren't necessarily the best to have right now. Now there's no striking, there's not, there's no major thing. So it looks like this is the best hit. This is Lord of Winter. Oh, easily the Lord best Lord. hit that's available to him, so he's going for it. This yeah. is gonna be insane. Like, all pips gone, he's got two blades as well. If he quits this, this is gonna be a miracle, dude. I mean, Samuel's definitely set. No, but Samuel's oh, definitely set. Oh, no way. So. Don't forget. How is he set? The resist? Yeah, definitely. Look, oh. that's not that's not doing enough. And let's not forget, I Ice did can't... a lot. Here's the thing, Ice can't heal, whereas Death can drain. Not to mention... Well, alright, what's his drain? His only drain? Vampire? Ghoul, Vampire, Wraith, I, Dawn. I don't know what he carries, but... Well... If we're talking actual health back, he's gonna need something equivalent to Cooley, which is Vaughn, and he's not gonna get enough hits for that. He's not, I don't think a Vaughn is a good idea, but we'll see what he it's does. It's not, so... If he puts up an infal, he could, he could definitely... He needs to work really hard right now to bring up that health divide. It's definitely not an easy job for Sam. We'll see. But one thing to note, though, is that Matthew needs 10 pips to do a really solid hit. You know, that's... That's something, you know? That infal is like, going up. Yeah, Matthew baiting that Bone Dragon as well as the Crit Lord of Winter was, to me, the like, I, I see him getting this no problem now. Like, I mean, I, yeah, I think the, the problem is Samuel didn't really kind of had to. He, he had to do it. Like, he had three blades. What else could he have done? You know, you have to ask yourself that. Especially with that stun block up, he had no room for any type of combo. Yeah, with those two blades, I mean, with those two shields he, uh, Matthew had, um, he, he really couldn't have done anything besides that. But at the same time, I, wouldn't he be able to see that coming? Like, Matthew saw that coming from a mile away. He only let yeah. one tick on him, and that was it. He, the follow-up was a deer, yeah. It, it wouldn't have worked from second. Maybe he could have chose, like, in, like a second route. But honestly, though, like, I would have just used a shift TC. I know they're rare. Like, if, if he, he had it. Maybe he's saving it for a future match, because this one's kind of in the bag at the moment. But, I, I don't know, I, I don't want to speak too soon, you know? Samuel has two blades up. He still technically has bubble control. Not that it matters for either of them, really. Lord the winner, winner. Right, so he's still in here. Actually, now that you mention that, this this match would have been ended like three minutes ago if he did have a shift. Shift into a Lord of Winner? Yeah, no, that would have been it. Oh, That's it's a, already over. All right, well, dang. Yeah, I mean, it's really, really hard, you know? It's, it's really, really hard to bring it back right like that. But, I mean, he put up a really good fight. I just think it's... The problem is Death doesn't have as many tools as Ice does at the end of the day. It's, it's really hard for a Death to go against an Ice and just take them on. Even, yeah, for especially sure. Especially from second. It's impossible, in my opinion. But that being said... I it think can still happen. You just have to be really skilled and know, and know the game really right. well. Especially I, I in this uh, game mode, for sure. Well, not game mode, like the rule set we have gives right, death right, more of an ability. I think Samuel would have benefited a ton if he just shielded something. He, he needed set shields because he let himself get a solid hit. Like, there's a solid hit on him, basically. Yeah, uh, he, he didn't he let himself frostbite. be defensive enough. Yeah. Like, forcing him into a frostbite would have been a great way to...